Hello lovely people, I hope you are all well. So as this video goes up, or the day that this goes live, we have what can be described as one of the biggest nights of theatre award-ness. It's Olivier's day and I'm very excited because you know what that means on this channel. You know what this means. This means this excuse me this means that i am going to do a predictions video for the olivier awards 2023 knowing pretty much nothing about any of the award award nominations i can't even speak this is going to be a good video so if you want to know who i think is going to win each award stick around and we'll get into it in two whole seconds plan I was going to get dressed up I even thought because as I'm filming this I actually am coming back from London I could film it in London it'd be great um and then I realized how short a time I'd be on an edit if I did that so instead we're at home I'm in work clothes but I have got my glasses on so something I guess <laughs> jazzy glasses in fact I do have jazzy glasses but we're gonna keep these on so without further ado the olivia awards 2023 my predictions of who i think is going to win each prize each award each category that's what i wanted um i'm gonna try it slightly differently editing wise this year because you we all know i'm terrible at names and because of that fact i thought you know what instead of going for the worst pronunciations of certain names we're going to let a graphic do the talking so what i have done is i have essentially scream grabbed off the official london theater websites um website <laughs> the nomination cards which were obviously displayed when the nominations got done given who knows um and they will either be over my face or i'll talk and explain and hopefully that way it shall be a quicker video so let me know if you like how this happens and fingers crossed we can do something similar next time around when the next lot of nominations happen let's be honest theater awards in this country it's either going to be um what's on stage awards or olivier's because they're only real too really sad really anyway without further ado we're just going to go through the nominations and i'm going to pick who i think is going to win so we're going to start off with the award for the best entertainment or comedy play our nomination should hopefully be somewhere around me or over me right now and my prediction is my neighbor totoro that's my wholehearted thoughts and feelings. I feel like it's going to have a quite a lot of nominations or quite a lot of awards for the nominations that they have been given. I would really, really like it to be My Son's a Queer, but what can you do? Because I saw it during its Garrick run. It is currently finishing off a Ambassador's run and it also was in Edinburgh. It is such an amazing piece of theatre. Rob Madge and their one person show, like it hits your heart so much. You will laugh, you will cry. It's an excellent show. I have in fact uh, done a review for it when I watched it at the Garrick. If you want to go through my page and find that. Um, but I I think that this is just going to be my neighbor Totoro's year, but 100% I would love it to be uh, Rob Madge's award because I just think they they deserve they deserve this nom no, nomination and they deserve the award. Um, so yeah, I think it's going to go for one of those two, but I think it's going to go to my neighbor Totoro. That is my prediction. Next up, we have the award for Best Family Show. 
the nominations are somewhere around me or over me and I can't truly predict. This is the first one of the I have not seen any of these so we're just gonna have to go for it. Now I work in education <laughs> and I am aware of three of these things thanks to my job. Um, there are some that I prefer over others. We're not going to go into it right now. Um, but I predict that it's going to be purely from the pictures. Hey Dougie. Hey Dougie, the live theatre show. There we go. I know nothing. I feel like Midsummer Mechanicals looked like a great thing just from the pictures alone but I don't know anything so I'm just gonna go for Hey Dougie and we'll go from there. <laughs> Moving on we next have the award for best theatre choreographer. I always feel like I'm saying that word right wrong even. I always think that I'm saying that word wrong and out of the nominations, I think it will go to Matt Cole for Newsies. Basically because everyone who has seen this production of Newsies at the Trevador in Wembley has just like stated full heartedly how amazing the choreography and how amazing the dance is in it, the dance element. and. I have yet to see Newsies, it's definitely on my list to go and watch but I just haven't had the chance slash the nerve to go and watch it. The reason why I say nerve is because I'm not great with finding places. <laughs> I'm terrible with directions and although people including many of my friends who have seen Newsies are like don't worry it's really easy to get to, I will get lost. So easily. I once got lost trying to get to the Southwark Playhouse in its Elephant and Castle location. That that was impressive, that was an impressive, impressive skill of mine to get lost. So if anyone wants to take me to go see Newsies I <laughs> will put it on my list because I really really want to see this show, I really want to see its choreography amongst other things. Um, I have also seen Kate Prince's work for Sylvia. That is also excellent. I did mention it in my review, but I just think it's gonna it's gonna be, it's gonna be newsy, surely. Like, have you seen the work that they have done during all of the promo? It's just stunning. It's just stunning. Next up we have best costume design and I don't think I've seen any of the above. I haven't, but I I think purely down to the pictures given to us as part of the indent I'm going to go for Hugh Durant or Durant I'm not particularly sure for Jack and Beanstalk at the Palladium because I feel like with the budget that that panto gets every single year the costumes are just going to be phenomenal um, so that is my prediction I don't know any of them I feel like if not it's going to be like I said a very strong My Neighbour Totoro year so maybe it will go for that. However I haven't heard much about costume in regards to that show so that is why I've not given Totoro the nod this time. Um, but yeah that is my prediction. I'm going to go Jack and the Beanstalk with my friends. There we go. Next up we've got Best Revival and again I haven't seen any of the above but for the main reason it is currently about to start its new run at the Phoenix. I'm going to give this to Streetcar Named Desire. I feel like it's going to have quite a few awards which will help it sell whilst it's at the Phoenix. That is my prediction. I haven't seen any of the above, but I just feel like that is going to be a strong contender for quite a few awards. Next up, we have got Best Musical Revival. Um, and again, I haven't seen any of the productions named. Um, however, I have seen the My Fair Lady tour. It was absolutely 
beautiful to watch and to listen to. Um, I have a soft spot for Sister Act, I'm not gonna lie. Plus, Sister Act did involve one of my queens, Beverly Knight. So you're just like, mmm, that's just mean. I am gonna go for neither because I think that Oklahoma is gonna win this one. I feel like Oklahoma is gonna win quite a few during this awards season of the Olivier's. <laughs> it's not really a season, is it? Um, but yeah, I, I've heard so many things about this run of Oklahoma. Um, it was at the Young Vic, it is now at the Wyndham's? Probably wrong, but that's where I'm going to put it. Um, it's in its current home and um, I just think that it's going to win a few and it's different. It's a different revival. It's something new. People like new. It's, they like new with their old. There we go. Next up we're going to have a best sound design and I predict another Totoro win. I think Tony Gale for My Neighbour Totoro is going to win this. I believe that they won this award with What's On Stage and most of the time they kind of agree with each other um so that is my prediction based on my knowledge she says although she's doubting herself um her knowledge <laughs> during the uh what's on stage awards next up we have best original score or new orchestrations um just looking through the nominations myself I'm going to go again with Oklahoma I has previously just mentioned um but not just previously as recently mentioned I feel like Oklahoma is going to be quite a award winning show uh, this time around I feel like it's going to be the cabaret of 2023 um in that it gets most of the awards it is up for um just because just like with cabaret it is a classic show which has got a new life and i feel like awards like giving awards for that kind of situation having something and bringing it more up to date i just think that that's what's going to happen with this year um and if that does happen i am going to shout nailed it in my next video <laughs> although i won't because i will have pre-filmed it but i will i will have a silent fist pump fifth pump um so i'm going to go for oklahoma for this one which is daniel kluger for orchestrations and arrangements and nathan kochi for additional vocal arrangements best actor in a supporting role. Oh, I sounded right. I thought I was good then. So this is another one that I have no previous knowledge on. Um, my prediction and my hope, because it means that multiple people will have to get on the stage and do thank yous, and I just love that for this, for any kind of award season. If you get more than one person winning the award it just takes time and i just love it because it's a, it's a logistical nightmare but i'm going to go for the black boys who have considered suicide when the hue gets too heavy um it is about to start a new run more in town because it is nominated for its gerard theatre downstairs at the royal court theatre mouthful um so i feel like it's going to be another one that gets a good few nods Part of me also would quite like, well not like, but would <laughs> enjoy an Elliot Levy win. Basically he won last year with Cabaret so it would be a back to back situation. I love things like that too. But I really want for the black boys who have considered suicide to win. Next up we have got the award for best actress in award, excuse me, 
best actress in a supporting role um again i have not seen any of the above but as previously mentioned i feel like a streetcar named desire is going to be a good one to watch out for and that for that reason that is going to be my winner i'd also really enjoy if rose ailing elling ellis excuse me won um just because it was a new production for a new theatre in town and it just excites me a lot um but i think it's gonna go straight to carne desire there there i said it i said it and i can't take it back next up we have got best set design what gut guts me is guts me the right word probably not but i would really like <laughs> someone who's not on this list to win and that's basically because I thought it was amazing when I saw it on tour and that is the set design for um My Fair Lady it was literally visually stunning and so clever unfortunately it's not on the list so the list as hopefully you will have seen is the above and I think it's gonna go to one of two for the reason that I think it's going to win a lot of awards, I think it could go to Tom Pye for My Neighbour Totoro. However, because of the visual images that I have seen online and just think it's really interesting, I also think it could, could go to Ben Stone's for Standing at the Sky's Edge, which has just finished its run at the National I think it's going to go to one of those two um, for the reasons I've just given. Next up we have got lighting design. Again I have seen none of them in the flesh. I have seen a bit of a couple um, and for again <laughs> the same reason I think that Jessica Hun Yan Hun Hung Han Yun for My Neighbour Totoro may win. I also just because of the again the visuals I have seen Tim Lutkin for the crucible looks absolutely phenomenal um so maybe maybe one of those two that is my prediction next up we got best actress in a supporting role for a musical now this this my friends is the cruelest of all of my predictions because it has two of my absolute queens nominated and for i for, i really hope that one of the two win uh, we have uh beverly knight for sylvia at the old vic previously reviewed this show i went to see it it was amazing beverly knight outstanding can do no wrong we also have got misha wallace who is like a stunning visually audibly everything e um i hope to see her when i go and watch guys and dolls at the weekend look out for that review um and yeah i, I it hurts my soul that i have to pick between them um for the fact that i have seen her in her role that she is nominated for and for the fact it'd be really cool if she wins i'm gonna go for beverly knight in sylvia at the old vic but part of my heart wouldn't be sad if marisha wallace won or any of the above actually because i think if lisa sadovi who i'm probably pronouncing her name incorrectly but if she wins for oklahoma i also believe that's a back-to-back -back thing just like uh with uh, Elliot Levy so I love a back to back although no we're not going to get into it but I feel like this is the this is the category which gutted me last year we're moving on for it because we don't need to get into that battle again but that is my prediction which wasn't really a prediction Beverly Knight all the way <laughs> next we have the best actor in a supporting role in a musical um i have seen none of the above but i'm going to go clive rowe for a sister act um at the event tim apollo because 
previously mentioned, really enjoy Sister Act as a show. It hasn't yet come to uh, Wolverhampton, so I haven't yet seen this tour. I'm dying to see it. I don't think Clive is in the tour. I should probably look at this. This kind of stuff is what I should look at before I start videos. Alas, I haven't. Let's move on. <laughs> now we have to get through the awkward bit where Claire has to try and predict opera and choreography, like dance choreography stuff, which she knows nothing of. So first we have best new opera production. Uh, let's go purely on visuals. I'm going to go for Peter Grimes by the Royal Opera. Basically down to the fact, and I've pressed the button, I shouldn't. Um, I have the indents and that one looks kind of cool. <laughs> Not a reason to support something, but there we go. Next up we've got Outstanding Achievement in Opera. And for this one, I am going for Anthony McDonald for his design of Alcina. Basically, again, because of its indent, uh, it looks kind of cool. And if it looks kind of cool, then his design work has been done well. Back into like better, <laughs> more knowledgeable life. We have best actor in a musical. This I think is going to be a tough one to pick from. Um, I, I'm going to go against what I think will happen, which is that Arthur, Arthur Darville will win for Oklahoma. But I am going to go for Alan Moni about about Bull. I've ruined that name I truly apologize for the band's visit because I feel like that's going to win something along the way I don't know what it's going to win but I feel it's going to win something the, uh, the band's visit um so yeah there's my prediction best actress in the musical Katie Braben for Tammy Faye don't know why gut instinct and sometimes gut is the best place to go Best new dance production. Let's have a look through the nominations. I'm going to go for truly because of its name. I'm not going to lie. The miss. It's called Triptych, otherwise known as The Missing Door, The Lost Rune, and The Hidden Floor by Peeping Tom at the Barbican. Outstanding achievement in dance. Let's have a look again at the nominations. Not knowing at absolutely everything and not even knowing what what's dramaturgy turgy who knows um let's go for dixon M M B for his choreography of enowate at sadler's wells i truly need someone dancey to teach me stuff Dancy is probably not the best way of putting that. I need someone with a dance knowledge to teach me about dance. Or maybe I should just go and visit Sadler's Wells a bit more. Or at all. Art Outstanding Achievement in Affiliate Theatre. Let's look at the nominations. I'm going to go for Paradise Now at Bush Theatre. Thank you. I don't know why gut feeling that's the best way to go when you don't really know and yes I do know that rhymes and I do know I'm poet thanks we've got best director see this is where they put everything that I think is going to win something in one category I am going to go for the fact that she has won previously and that it is a show that is going to win quite a few things. I'm going to go for Rebecca Frecknell for A Streetcar Named Desire. There's my prediction. But it truly could go any of the five ways, I think. Because all of them are super clever on how they work. Best Actress, I think, is going to go to Jodie Comer. For two reasons. One, she's an amazing actress. I may have seen the show Prima Facey. I still think I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. Uh, I saw it via slime tutorial. 
um and it was absolutely outstanding like i was in awe of her performance in that show but also she won the same thing in the what's on stage awards and like previously mentioned they kind of overlap a bit in winners so that is my prediction and my hope i'd love for jodie coma to win and olivier it'd just be so cool and if she wins an Olivier, she has already said she wants to do a musical. And you know, you know, if she goes and performs in a musical, I will be there like a shot. Best actor. Let's have a look through. And my prediction is it's going to go to Paul Mescal for A Streetcar Named Desire. Previously mentioned throughout this video. I feel like Streetcar Named Desire is going to have many awards and why not give him that one best new play because oh see i was going to go right i know who's winning this however i just scrolled down and saw the other two nominations i am sticking with my gut i'm gonna go for the black boys who have considered suicide when the hue gets he gets too heavy um like previously mentioned they are about to start a new run more centrally in town and for the fact it is coming back around so quickly i feel like it's gonna it's gonna win that is my gut but again prim facey amazing show and finally the best new musical award what could be described as the most difficult one who predict um i have seen one of the nominations i've seen sylvia however i heard so many things about tammy faye i've seen so many things about standing at the sky's edge i've seen so many things about the band's visit it could truly go to any of the above <sighs> so it has to go down to my gut my final gut of <laughs> the video right i've sat and i've thought i'm going for sylvia i'm going for the show that i've seen my gut it's the only way but it's going to be a close one it's definitely going to be a close one and there we go that is all the nominations and predictions done my battery is about to die which means i've talked for far too long so I'm going to try and round this video up right now really quickly and say good luck to all of the nominations, the nominees even, of each award for these Olivier Awards. I will be trying to keep up to date with all of the winners as they come through on Twitter as I return back to the Midlands from London. And there we go. So i'm going to bid you farewell i love you all lots and i'm going to leave it for this camera dies again so i shall see sh i shall see you why does it always go wrong when you're trying to quickly get out of something i shall see you next time goodbye